Okay, just before we get started on the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've just released a serum preset pack with all of the presets that I've used in this video, plus like 30 more. I'll leave a link in the description in the comments if you want to go download the pack. If you want to recreate any of the sounds that I've used in this track, then you can go check it out for yourself. And that's pretty much it. Let's get started. All right, I'm Kieran, and today we're going to make a Freddy Game beat from scratch. I think that there are quite a few YouTube videos where they try and make a Freddy Game beat. I feel like they don't do his type of music justice quite so much. So today I'm going to try really hard to do the best I can. All right, so I'm going to start with a lead sound. If you guys are wondering about the serum lead, by the way, this is a little uh, lead that I made, sort of inspired by Freddy Game. Very duskacy. It has this uh, mono voicing with this portamento time. Basically, this will be in a preset pack that I'll make. That'll be in the description of this video that you guys can go check out and download for yourself. <laughs> I think of adding like a little piano texture underneath all of these. I'll see how that goes. One weird thing that I do when I'm making music is I play with this master pitch. Basically, like if I, I'm making a song for a while and I get tired of how it sounds, I like just change the key. I either like put it down or put it up just to refresh my ears. Then I can hear it at different pitches and it sounds a bit it doesn't sound better it doesn't change the song but it's just like sort of makes it sound a bit new again so i get more inspired so i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna put it back down because i had it up to under semitone so let's see how this sounds <laughs> So one of the presets that I was talking about was this Serum preset. So basically I've named it Freddy Game Pluck Lead because this is kind of like one of the pluck leads that I remade for one of his songs. 
So yeah, pretty cool. It's like a little rubbery plug sort of thing. And basically then underneath what's playing is this bass line. The drums for the drop is a simple house loop that I put in my sample pack. And basically I just sidechain this piano underneath to play chords of the drop and then that's pretty much it. I've got these vocal chops that are sort of being opened up over time by this filter. So once we get to the drop, it's sort of like reverbed and washed out. And then once it gets to the drop, it comes in full force.